people every single day. Every day. You own that phone. Popping off at the mouth. It's time to come in out of the wilderness. It's time to come in. And only you, only you can make that first step out of the forest. Only you. Because, see, you don't know what else is getting ready to come at you when you're in the wilderness. And if you haven't got to know God or you don't know God, then it'll take you deeper into the forest. Once you become lost, all things is possible through Christ that strengthen us. But if you don't know him, and you don't know how to seek him, it just make it more difficult for you to figure out how to get out. And if you're having difficulties figuring out how to get out, you're more likely to get sucked in deeper. And you could even die. I don't wish that on anybody. I do, however, pray that anybody and everybody that's living a life that they don't feel blessed and strong about who they are when they look in the mirror, if they don't have a relationship with our Lord and Savior, that they consider going hard for Jesus. He did it for you. He gave His only begotten Son. Just consider it and give Jesus a chance the way you took a chance with your life with any artificial stimulant relationship with people that you haven't taken the ample amount of time necessary to really get to know them. half of y'all then moved in with them and you get into that lease and it's like, oh, I didn't know that it was like this. I didn't know it was like that. Because you didn't take any time out to really get to know. You was thirsty. So you just, you know, jumped in. And now you're stuck. So before you get stuck in the world, or go deeper into the wilderness. Get stuck on the living word. That your heavenly father. Has blessed you with. To protect you. Save you. And guide you. And this thing called life. And go hard for Jesus. Like you've been going hard for everybody else in the world. And possibly feeling unappreciated. Possibly feeling like you're not loved. Unworthy. 
Don't let negativity fill your brain. You more than worthy. All you got to do is call on it in. If I regard inequity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Psalm 66, verse 18. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for. We ought but the Spirit himself make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. If you don't know what you should be praying for or you feel like you don't know how to pray because your words and prayers don't sound like the people that you hear pray, do not let the devil fool you. This scripture is saying that just attempting to reach out to our Heavenly Father in prayer, that the Holy Spirit speaks to the Father for you. You will get better at it. But he hears, he knows, and he understands what you're saying. It's prayers in your Bible. But keep praying. Don't worry about how professional you think it need to be. Go old school with the traditional. Our Father, art thou in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As in earth as it is in heaven, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our sins. For we too forgive those whom are in debt to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the power, the kingdom, and the glory forever and ever. If you're interested in a closer relationship with God and you don't have one, you can stop where you are right now and repent, meaning to turn away from ungodly things and ask the Lord to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior to take over your life. Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit move for you. For the things that you may not be certain about yourself. You can't be ashamed coming to the Father because he already knows. Another good study helper I like is Bible Talk with Mike on my nose, I think it is. Mazzani, Mike Mazzani. It's called Bible Talk on Facebook. I actually, um, I tie to whoever is helping me to understand the word those that teach and deliver. Um, 
and they help others. That's how I split my money up. Because it is a proven recipe. And when you pray and give your donations, pay your tithes, that the Lord keep your finances going in your favor. But Bible talk on um, what on YouTube is an excellent Bible study. That guy, that pastor, rather, he gives you the history, so you have full understanding. And he got, he has Bible study on each book of the Bible broke down. But that's just my thing. God is so awesome. Everything is custom made. What works for you may not work for somebody else and vice versa. Everything is custom made. Just for the specific message that the Lord needs to get to you for your destiny. So... You can start off with that, Pastor, and just venture on to different pastors for a Bible study with each book on YouTube so you can see which one is the difference to you. Okay. What time is it? Oh, it is 9.35. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 through 25. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No one is better than anyone else. We've all sinned. We all come short. We all need the grace of God to strengthen us and lead us to the destiny that he has set forth for us. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Verse 25. When God has set forth to be a proportion through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sin that are passed through the forbearance of God. Repentance meaning turning away from. The more you work towards getting closer to our Heavenly Father through prayer, meditation, each day you get stronger. The more you take in to the living word, you become stronger. You know how many times I wanted to throw in the towel? But instead, I got on my knees and I prayed. You know the thoughts that run through my head? Me and my son got out the car Yesterday, we was going to Kentucky Fried Chicken, and somebody was smoking some good trees. 
And just for a brief minute, I hopped out the car.